morning everybody I uh, thought I'd just update you guys with everything that's going on here um, it's been a busy last week um, we know we have puppies already that have been born they're two weeks old last Friday they're doing very well Nala's been a great mother um, their eyes are open they're be bopping around uh, really inquisitive little things and we have been monitoring Eva. She had our singleton, her singleton. Um, so every day I've been taking out my ultrasound machine and um, checking on her baby. So we finally got to a point where we decided we should probably take her into the repo vet and do a C-section because she just really wasn't showing progressed labor she was in labor I was with her um, you know we slept we sleep together she slept in my room I slept in her whelping box just to monitor but I didn't see any um, any progression so I was you know and I did by the dates and I knew that even if she ovulated later that it would be due soon so every day I had checked on the puppy every day I saw heartbeat on my ultrasound well, we went in Saturday morning and um, agreed that she was ready for a C-section. They do a pedestrian test and her pedestrian level was under a two, which is a go for um, C-sections. Um, and the next thing they do is they, uh, so they did the pedestrian test. The next thing they do is an ultrasound to check the puppy. And I had checked him the day before and saw that he was alive. But that day when we went in and checked him, there was no heartbeat. So somewhere overnight, we had lost him from Saturday to Sunday. So um, it was a boy. Uh, she, They tried what they could, but um, there, there was no, he wasn't alive. So we still had to do the C-section and get the puppy out. We have brought the puppy home. We have a place where we, we, uh, you know we have all our puppies in here so Eva is doing well she's you know she's up eating and drinking I mean <clears throat> she's she's still on pain meds but she's doing pretty good for what you know what she's been through c-sections are rough so she's she's fine she's home she's doing good she's been with me and monitoring her so that's the update with Eva this is Eva She's doing quite well. She's recovering. Everybody's checking on her. Even the golden girl. She's downstairs relaxing with us because that's where we are. If we go upstairs, she goes up there to bed. But um, if they do less stairs, we kind of keep her down here during the day when we're here with her. And then at night, she's been sleeping upstairs because it's one shot up. And But stairs are are tiring her out right now but she did just have a c-section yesterday so in time she'll get better but she's feeling pretty good keeping herself clean hey Eleanor how you feeling beautiful she's been keeping an eye on Eva and then Fiona she's doing what she does best relaxing little babies mama has probably been over here feeding them they're tired out oops sorry little Francesca over here by herself oh she smells me and then we have a puppy pile snuggling mama probably fed them and got up and left and then they just stayed right there but if they smell her, they come running in. Here she comes. She's a good baby. Look at that little face. Oh, she said hi. In there, up walking around. They're two weeks. Friday they were, last Friday. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. Oh, there's mommy. There's your mummy. We smell her. We get right up if we smell her. 
They're sniffing for. <laughs> Raven, I can hear her little nose a going. She said, I smell her. Are you feeding them or what? Or are you just seeing what I'm doing? Yeah. Hi, little love bug. So, that's what it's like when she comes in. They smell her and they want her. She comes in and feeds them though. I know. I told that mummy. Oh, Sledge is growling at somebody. They walk pretty good. I mean, they're not super huge puppies, but they're only two weeks old, too. This is Lucy. Francesca. Oh, what do you got? An empty wrapper? Oh, nice. You bringing it in for the kids to see? Oh. Looking for a spot to sit, making sure the kids aren't in the way. She knows how to work them. <laughs> mommy's gonna sit down. She's got some piece of paper in her mouth. She thinks she's got something. Is that for the kids? Huh? What do you got? Empty wrapper. Oh, whatever. You found it. Oh my goodness, this one just, Lucy just ran out of nowhere. She saw her mummy. <laughs> she is pretty good about it, but they, about keeping them clean. They do have like little, you know, they're not potty, we haven't even started potty training yet. But they do have little accidents here and there. You know, mummy doesn't see. So it's a constant, you know, coming in and cleaning up and changing blankets and, you know. They are puppies, so they poop. These little boys. Let's cold it. And sledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Zoe. Um, but your mummy's over here, sweetheart. Yeah, her bellies are already full. Like, she just looks like she just got done eating already. Brothers. So you can see the difference between a blue barrel and a regular barrel. And so she's already feeding them. So she does really good. We haven't been sleeping in here anymore with her. Oops, trying to help you out there, lady. She looks just like Diesel. All her, even her little markings. Let's see, these boys have already eaten. Yeah, they both feel pretty full. So, once they notice mummy's here, they'll beeline it over. Oh, we smell mummy. Go on, Sledge. Tired. Still toddling. You going over, Colba? Yeah, let me help you. A little love. He doesn't even look hungry. His belly's full. Look at this. Francesca. <laughs> Flip you over, baby. She's getting them clean. She's got to hold them down, Mom. So she's doing very well for a first time mom. She's very protective of her babies. She doesn't like, um,. And she hears some of them go by her door, and it's almost like she knows who it is, too, because she doesn't care <clears throat> if it's her parents. But for some reason, when Magnolia goes by her door, she gets all peeled about it. Oh, gotta get comfortable for the kids. So there's only seven, so they get to eat whenever they want all together. But these guys are doing great. Over two weeks old. No problems here, which is good. She's digging. That is so cute. They act like they're starving every time and she feeds them quite regularly. Don't you, Mummy? Yes, you do, you Mummy. Yes, you are. Mm. That's just so pretty. She's such a pretty girl. Yes. 
So that's um, that's the update on the the seven. Yeah, and the mama. So I just want to touch base about how our waiting list works too. Um, I usually, people that are interested and want to go on or want to find out more information about how to get one of our puppies, I usually direct them to our webpage, um, www.devoteddanes.webs.com. So you can read a little bit about our profile to know how we work. Um, some people don't read those pages and don't realize the different steps that we do to um, kind of screen the people that we want on our waiting list. Um, so we always have a waiting list going. So that's kind of how it works too is sometimes um, you'll have litters and they won't <clears throat> have enough boys or have enough girls or even have enough puppies. So we run into that. And how that works is if you don't get on that list, we always put you to the next available list. So we always have a waiting list going. Um, we currently have two litters coming up, Ebby and Lexi. And like I had just said, Ebby is in heat and will be bred within the next couple of weeks. So anybody that didn't get from Nala or Eva's list will go on the top of that list first. So we always try to be fair. The people that have waited the longest, I feel like, you know, should be first, um, only makes sense. So how our waiting list works is you inquire. I basically tell you we don't have a contract, um, but I do screen families. I want to know, you know, where our puppies are going. Um, you know, the dynamics of your family. Do you own, do you rent? Is it okay for you to have large breeds if you rent? Do you have a yard? Or are you close to a park? Do you work 60 hours a week and not have time for this puppy? Um, will somebody be there to complete potty training? Cause we do potty training here at three weeks. So somebody needs to follow up potty training at eight weeks when they go home. Do you have other dogs? Are those dogs spayed or neutered? Um, I also look kind of like through your Facebook, if I find that you've, you know, rehomed a bunch of animals, yeah, I don't want you to have one of my dogs. Um, that's just the nature of how we are. Um, we want our Danes to go to the best possible homes, and most people that do seek us are great families. Um, but everybody that inquires is not necessarily going to be put on our waiting list because, um, you know, we get to f decide, you know, yes, that family seems like a great match or no that family really doesn't meet the criteria of what this puppy is going to need um, you know you need to be financially able to take care of this puppy giant breeds are prone for certain things as we've all done our research no so um, there's always that too and just regular maintenance going to the you know the vets for this or that those are regular things that you would do with any animal that you have cat or dog or whatever it is that you may possess so that's how it is. So if you inquire about a waiting list, I want to know some in, some details about your family. Um, do not assume after you give me those details that you are on our waiting list. So after that step, I say, yes, you know, you seem like a great home. We would love for one of our puppies to go there. Then it's a $300 non-refundable deposit to be put on our waiting list. Anybody that's on our waiting list has met all those criteria for us and is on our waiting list um, so if you think that by you know just doing a little communication that you're on it you're not and uh, you know that's why I try to send people to our web page so you can see how it kind of works so um, yes that's what we require to be on our waiting list why it's non-refundable is because we have had puppies in the past that we have kept for eight weeks when it's come to get them they don't show up now I've already passed up other homes that this puppy could go to, like good homes. And now I have to on the fly try to find another home. I mean, we do have a waiting list and that's who we offer, um, we would offer those puppies to before, but we've had that happen. And you know, so that's how, why you lose it. You know, we've reserved that puppy for you the whole time. Um, you back out, you're not getting it back. If you 
happen to come on an instance where you say, you know what, we're moving or, you know, we're going to have a baby in the next couple months. Can we take our deposit and go to another litter? Absolutely. That's totally fine with us. Or um, you didn't have the color I wanted or the sex we wanted. So yeah, we're okay with moving you for the next litter because you're really not backing out. You're just saying, oh, the timing's not right, right this moment, but we are still um, committed to getting a puppy. So that's how our waiting list works.